today. Oh my god, I'm so happy to be here once more. So it's your host, Elori. Now, guys, we have another video, or I have another video to share with you. And guys, in this video, I'm going to be sharing my entire winter um, coat like jacket collection. Um, I think it's between 14 and 16, and I think that that's quite a lot for one person to have. However, I've had them for a while, and guys, they all serve different purposes. But one of the questions I want to put out there is, should we really keep buying, like, um, winter coats, jackets? Guys, sorry if my voice is a bit shaky. Um, it's just because um, I haven't been really well, so I've had this IBS, so my bowels are going through some serious thingy this past few weeks. And um, I'm off work, and I'm just trying to recuperate. I'm getting slightly better. I'm on heavy medications, but I just felt like, um, you know, it, would, it wouldn't be too bad if I was to start shooting videos and put, putting it on my channel. Now, guys, so if you find my voice a little bit shaky, I'm so sorry for that. Thank God for his mercies and his healing powers. Now, um, guys, going back to the coat, I wanted to say, oh my gosh, the trends is just it's not ridiculous but it's so it's so beautiful because it's colors like colors are vibrant colors are everywhere and i love colors as well like oh my gosh guys you see my dresses they're going to be videos of course the dresses coming up um but these are going to be on what i have already so it's like a shop your closet videos but guys i have stunning colors like stunning dresses color beautiful colors now um should we keep buying like a lot of coats you got like so many coats purple pink yellow orange the bottega green guys they're everywhere i'm not that brave though when it comes to coat it just has to be like more on the neutral side for me so i tend to stick with the with the browns the camel the the blacks and you know that sort of thing um i can't i haven't been able to venture out maybe somewhere in the future i may decide that i want a purple coat or something and i might go for that i don't know but we'll have to see now if you're brave enough and you have all kinds of colored good in your in your wardrobe guys well done you guys are awesome but i'm not as brave as you now without much ado i want to say if you haven't subbed to my channel and you're watching this video and you think this is your type of video please i'd love you to subscribe and if you like this content somewhere along this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and put your notification bell on guys it's really important because i do upload content every sunday so that you would not miss out and guys don't forget to watch out for my cocktail dresses videos which are going to be next i think and very close in the future guys i'm going to have an opoly haul on this channel i want to test out their things i want to see what their things would look like on a size such as myself from a size 12 to 14. now that said guys we're going to go on with this video i think i'm going to be on the side so i'm going to be on the side so that i can place my video of me actually trying the jackets or coats on this other side now please don't forget to comment on the section below the comment section do comment and guys just let us know let's bond over this grab yourself a drink because i think this video will be close to i'm gonna try and keep it down i always say this within the 30 30 35 um minutes mark so guys we're going to get on with this My video next now one i want to share with you guys will be this one here the screen number it's really pretty looking and it's the, like a fair fair code that has been fashioned after the max Mara brand um, I got mine from AliExpress, guys, I can't remember, I don't even think it was up to, it was even 30 quid or even 40 pound. I got it free, um, when does it go, so I can't have what's on my, I, I don't know the price, but it was cheap. Um, so this is what it looks like, it's a cream colour fur fur coat um, that's fashioned after Max Mara brand. The hand, you can see it's got the branding, Max Mara sort of branding. You can see that there and uh, we don't want to go too much so it does have your hope I'm able to show you guys properly so it does have here your it has your buttons it's literally guys your 
kind of Max Mara sort of um, teddy. Um, this is what it looks like. But obviously, there's a clip of me showing it to you now on. I really like it because it is thick. And I think, I don't know the, the store um, that I got it from, but I'm just looking at it now. It says extra, extra large. So I got it in 2XL. You know, Chinese uh, sizing can be really small. So if I'm getting something like 2XL, normally my coat would be like a 12 or 14, but this is 2XL. So guys, if you shape like me, or if you're whatever shape you are that you want to buy something from china i just know that you're adding like three more three to four more sizes to your size because the chinese size and our size is complete and the western world is completely different so guys this is the very first one that i got and it's like the max mara uh, style um Cut. next one is this pretty one here guys i got this over 10 years ago so i think i got this in 2010 2010 guys that i got it 2010 that i yeah i got it 2010 guys and this is 2022 that's how long ago i got this coat it's such a pretty color it's more like a a camel with a dusting of undertone pink in it oh guys i don't know you be the judge it's like papaya color if that makes sense it's so pretty very pretty for for coat i've never seen anything that looked like this so guys i decided to <laughs> hold on to it like i love first so i've just held on to this when i got this initially back then there were two that i got one was like an a gray sort of color but that fair and this one were kind of different and that did not it frazzled out after a little while so i just gave it away as you can see guys this is a really pretty fur um from the clip i'm showing to you now it's a very pretty color and it's just pretty it's got like a really thick lining and guess what i got this beautiful baby girl from um tk max that was what i got this like a long time ago and guys look if you go to tk max yeah excuse me if you go to tk max and search yeah guys if you really search you will get some amazing find that's like tk max for me is like one of my one-stop shop if that makes sense so guys yeah this is my second find absolutely gorgeous love it love to wear it now we're going to go to the third this, one uh, will be this louis vuitton um puffer style coat if that makes jacket if that makes sense it's got your leather patches here and on the neck guys it's really pretty it's, it's a stone color but the thing about this is it gets dirty so i don't wear it often since I got it like two years ago, I've only worn it a couple of times. And you can see there's makeup stain here. I haven't washed it. I guess if I really have to wash it, I have to take it to the dry cleaners to get it sorted. But guys, I love this color, love stone. You can see like my background, I have all these furs around me because that's how I slay. That's how I roll basically. So it's a hooded style um, jacket and it's bomber style. And I really like it. I got mine in size, I think size 14, if that makes sense. And yes, from the clip, you can see like it's a really pretty jacket. And yeah, that's it. That's all there is to it though. So we're going to go and it's, it's a hooded jacket. And then we're going to go to the next one now. Next one is another double ganga styling of um, Zara. Guys, I got this one from um, AliExpress as well same time that i got the very first one that i showed you guys and this is i'm looking at the size in european extra large so this is quite bigger uh, compared to me this is actually really big i think i could have just set it for a medium or a large when i got it but i went for excel because i felt like oh my gosh chinese size and it's just so way off but this is like it came really big from the clip you can see like it looks big on me it's like an oversized seat um so i don't really necessarily wear it as much i'm not a very hooded person i think with the hoods what i can really wear is the longer puffer style coat because i feel like those are really cool looking so guys this is my a bomba star zara um leather coat fur coat that i got from uh, aliexpress and guess what i got this like i think it was under 25 bucks probably 21 pound I can't remember, but it wasn't expensive when I got this one. Um, 
I don't know. I can look for the links if the links are still available. If anything is available, guys, I'm going to link it below. So, but you know that most of my clothes are not available anyways because I've got, got them for like a long, long, long time. Now, you can get this one anywhere. Even Primark does a version of this. One time I went to Primark this year, I saw, last year, I saw this in Primark. And I was thinking to myself, rah, like, these ones I got from AliExpress two years ago. Like, the fashion just only got to, basically, Primark. But I think they should have it. I don't know if they still do, but I did see this winter in Primark. With that said, guys, we're going to move on so to guys, the next. So, guys, we're going to be doing our clothes next. And this one is literally uh my Burberry uh coat now this coat guys is a really pretty and it's a really really pretty color so we're gonna be tackling the wool coat next the next one up is the swans footage never saved so obviously I have to do it again I love this Burberry coat guys it's so beautiful it's in camo color guys it's stunning like most of all the Zara the Haitian names and all this shops now stores now companies they're all going after the next few coats i'm going to show you and these are my wool coats absolutely lovely i think it's gorgeous it's got this belt thingy on the back of it um it's got two pockets at the front then this is what the front actually this is what the front looks of the coat looks like guys it is a beautiful coat um it's got a heavy lining and then what it's got four buttons here one two and then it's got another two here, three, four. These are beautiful coats. It's in middle length from the clip, guys. You would see it's in middle length. Again, the back has a split open. Guys, absolutely gorgeous. I love all this next coat. I'm gonna show you this one and the other ones. They're all my woolen coats and more of like a corporate um well put together look sort of coat. Guys, I really like this one. So we're gonna go on to the next coat next one i want to show with you guys would be this one i have this one here and i have another one here but they look similar but they're not the same do you know what there was a time i was going crazy over this you know this camel max mara marilla sort of color so i have two of them um so this is my marilla brand um and it's camel i'm going to just put a clip of me uh just to show you what it looks like it's your ba it's your not basic it's your, it's your basic um how would i call it camel um max mara Ma marella sort of coat um this is what it looks like it's a long midday length coat basically uh this one has no buttons but it's got one hook here one that you can actually strap where is it yeah so that one can actually go here so this one goes all the way here that's if i choose to that's if i choose to wear it and also it's got a belt on the back of this one it's got um a back slit as well and it's heavy it's lined guys these are heavy duty winter um coats next one is a similar one to that but this is more of a deeper tone and this one guy is uh, more like a double breasted version so it's got like buttons here so it's got two buttons on the side guys and then it's got two buttons on this other side then again yes it does have your belt guys these are heavy duty coats like literally if you can grab yourself one of these coats guys do because with these coats it's never out of fashion it's, it will always be in style like all the ones you see in all the retailers these days pretty little things be you primark river island top shop they are all after this brand because these are smarella and this and the other one is smarella and these are sisters of uh, max mara i think it's, a, it's the same company so guys if you are able to grab these ones guys get yourself one of these because it's like forever coats it's got the back what you call it slits got your belt and guys it's just a signature um marilla max mara sort of coat so now that those ones are done i'm going to mm, i'm going to show you now, the black ones that i this black coat guys uh, it's one of my most used coats like honestly it's max mara like i don't know if you can see it's Max Mara, guys. I've used this so many times. Like, I'm sure this coat is actually begging me to lay it to rest. 
um but guys it is beautiful like i can't i can't let it to rest basically if that makes sense it's a classic uh black masmara coat so it's got your belts got your uh back side uh slit or splits and it's got your masmara all written on the lining on the inside guys it's your basic black masmara coat what I do is I always have them dry cleaned at the beginning, just at the beginning of autumn. I pack all my clothes, I have them dry cleaned for the next, you know, for the season. So guys, this is what that one looks like from the clip you can already see. So the next uh, wool coat that I have to share with you guys will be from a brand it called... It comes Tiki. with this, this one here, comes with it. You see this? It's a real fur show but what i've done is i took it off one time i wanted to have it dry clean the dry cleaners were like saying oh we, we're not sure we can we can, we're gonna have to dry clean that as well i was like and they were like we can't guarantee like you ain't gonna get ruined so i was like excuse me can i have it back please so i took my i took it off and i had it dry cleaned so this is my coat from kavita it's a beautiful black coat has a lot of fluff on it though because the culprit is um one of my wool Mourinho sweater uh, sweater that i have been wearing like oh my god just have a lot of fluff on this stuff now it's your classic black coat like oversized coat i think the hands are kind of uh, slightly shorter so the the hands of this coat are slightly shorter you see from the clip it's a it's a pretty coat i don't wear it all the time like I got so many coats guys like I don't know some of them I had to just bring them out from storage for this particular video I haven't worn a lot of them because I've been so much in love with my bumper style yeah prefer coat if that makes sense so yeah this one is from Kavita lined and it's heavy and it's a really pretty coat like I said it did come with this um, fur attached to it so guys I think we're done with our wool coat it's a lot of coat and then i have one um what you call it one trench coat to share with you now this is my trench sheet i got it from asos and this is like this season so i got it at the beginning of autumn when it's just like getting cold it's a trench coat and it's not well made i didn't notice on time like the sleeves yeah guys if you see the sleeves it has like bad thread need to work um it's really light it's not heavy it's not in quality and guys they actually sold this stuff for like 80 pounds can you imagine i don't even know what i what i wasted my money on this shit like it was it's not even nice 80 pound and when i initially when i got it i thought it was nice but later on when i saw how much i could have paid to get a proper nice trench coat from a better brand i really regretted to be honest so this is the trenchy mainly to be used since ASOS design mainly to be used for like autumn spring and stuff like that so i got it in stone color i didn't want anything too heavy and guys i got this one in size uk8 a uk8 is like a uk16 do you know that like the feet of this trench coat is like a 16. i went on eight because i wanted it to fit small but guys if you're ever gonna buy like trenches from ASOS, just remember to size like six sizes down because guys, you're gonna regret it. If you don't want that oversized look, guys, I'm sorry, you're not gonna be happy. So that's what happened with me. This wants to be my loser good or whatever, like one of the biggest good that I own. And from the clip, it's not that shapely. I don't necessarily like this good. I don't gravitate towards it. So guys, now we're coming towards the end of this video. Um, actually not quite. I still have like four of my real fur coats to show you guys and then we're going to move on to our bomber coats the next I one guess. is this one here um it's a blue attic blue fox i think i got it in two different uh styles so this is a shorter version um it does have like a big claw button here so even if i want to wear it without actually doing up the whole coat i can looks like a little soft pomeranian dog it's so cute i do like my comfort though during the winter so i always like to i like to look nice like stunning but also i like to be practical 
and with this code guys the vintage clothes you always practical you're not like i see a lot of women running after their men like they're together and the women have this really tiny short dresses like a maho short dresses not enough lack not enough coverage in the winter season with their heels the men it's all covered up and i'm thinking in my head why but why though why why are you dressed like that why do you have like a coat it doesn't have to be a fur coat but why don't you have an overcoat that covers you completely that you're not freezing so this one the reason why i love my fur coat during the winter because i can afford to wear my tiniest kind of clothes and still have these keep me warm the next one is this one here this is the longer version of what i just shown you it's really long and big and heavy Attic blue force coat as you can see um she's gonna insert the clip of me actually wearing this clothes so you can see how it is again this hits me on my uncle guys this coat is gorgeous like really really gorgeous it's a statement piece i love them so much like whenever i can wear them like last year i did never wear them last year and the year before last i think i never wore them but i've, I've worn them this winter because we've gone away and gone a lot quite a bit to dinner so i've had to wear this coat um because i love them again like i said for practicality they keep me warm and because i can dress however i want to dress and they look smashing anyways so i'm gonna put this aside and talk about the next one the next one guys is another um canadian red fox which is this one here another vintage coat guys but i really like it because i think like this coats are stunning look how beautiful this is this is the big one which is the long one the one that hits me on my ankle uh it's gonna be a clip of me wearing it so that you guys can see how pretty and nice this actually is I really like my fur can't stress enough how much i love my fur you might not be into fur but yes guys i have other coats i think i must have like maybe between 14 and 16 coats i don't know how many but i do have quite a, num a lot of coats so yeah this one is one of my red uh fur, fur coats now it's an aqua lead and i have it as well in a shorter version i'm going to move on to the shorter, the shorter version. version is what we see here it's a a knit length gorgeous wonders a ton like i remember when i first got it i would all the time like all the time all the time guys the winter i got it all the time i just love it i love the fur <laughs> reminds me again of you know a beautiful pomeranian dog it's the canada red fox fur and this fur these four um items i just shown you they're all real fur coats they're all um fox fur I really like them a lot i enjoy wearing them would i get like the newish ones perhaps one day i don't know if i'd get something it would have to be in a really light color like a a color like so yeah not that not a bright orange red or blue or pink or no, none of those no and a neutral tone color so guys this is my last fur coat and now we're going to move on to my last three coats which are the bomber style proof coat if that makes sense now we've come to our last three coats and these are all my pufa coats now the very first one guys i want to talk about is this one that i got from aliexpress i got it like three years ago um this one was the one that came with the real fur fex um you know for around the hood i really like it oh i really liked it when it came but that time it was just i want to be honest when i got it or when i sent the picture i thought it was midi but it's not midi so you see from the clip guys so but i wore it all the same worn it a long time now and i wore it until um it snapped here in the armpit so i started looking towards on both sides unfortunately um i started looking towards getting something new because i don't know if i can fix that um but it's a pre four star coat and who did and i really like it like i like it a lot i really like it if i am able to fix it then i'll com continue wearing this when i got it from aliexpress i think i paid about for 54 pound with the hood now the hood itself on its own which is the fur should be 54 pound or 60 pound because that is a really big a big fur it just 
it's just upgrades anything you put that fat on that fur hood so i got it with this one i felt like it was a steal this is the now, next one and now this one is the boohoo one this was included in my boohoo haul this is the next one guys so this hood was the one that came with the previous one that i just shown you but i decided to just put it here on my boohoo um coat just to give it a little bit of upgrade this is what the boohoo coat looks like it's a long coat as you can see it's anchored length it's hooded it's pretty the sheen is not like a vinyl sheen it's more of a velvety uh satiny kind of sheen like guys i really hung out when i first saw this coat in a colleague with a colleague of mine i wanted this coat desperately now i jumped onto whoop who website i was looking for this coat guys i had to search and search and you know what i got this coat on my sixth try my sixth try you know that's why i got this coat but i'm glad though i really like the coat i feel like everything is con as a pro just one con because it makes this annoying sound um i reviewed it in the boohoo try on haul so if you want to know more about this coat you can just jump on there and just have a look at the coats on that review so from the clip you can see how it looks like i think it's a pretty stunning um coat now we're going to go on to our last item our last item will be this beautiful it's coat. really stunning this holland keeper coat guys what can i say can i just start from the hood that's what the hood is like it's got this belt here that says holland cooper and on this accessories gold accessory says holland cooper guys and on the back the belt has got this beautiful thing that says holland cooper um it's a belt but it says holland cooper on it on the strap it's got this gold detail here guys it's absolutely long it's a very stylish it's a dressy puffer coat it's not just your normal puffer coat and then on the inside obviously it says holland cooper it's got all your gold details guys everything gold details it's a really stunning piece when i saw this one i'm already hungry to get another holland cooper coat this one though was gifted to me by my sweetie for christmas on the side it says holland cooper and gold details all the way guys all the way all the way and it all has like this beautiful gold you can see gold details on the accessory i think for now yeah this is my best coat like even i, I really love this coat i love my dressier coat like the fair coat but this coat guys i'm so much into the bomber style right now like i'm so loving this coat no regrets whatsoever i'm even looking to it like getting another one this coat is 400 pounds um that's one that i saw that was 550 that i think i would definitely plan for for 2022 christmas winter so this is it at the f here guys it has this little look at this the buckle that says holland cooper here it's just a stunning piece to be honest you can see from the clip it's a stunning piece like guys uh anyone that can afford it people obviously buy things in their thousands but i think this is a reasonable price for something such as this it's a quintessential equestrian british brand brand that's what i wanted to say quintessential equestrian british brand um it's a stunning piece of it's just a stunning piece guys look at this absolutely gorgeous what do you think it's a stunning piece totally totally stunning and yes guys and i think that will conclude and i think guys that will conclude this um video now let me know what you thought about this hopefully it hasn't dragged hopefully when this get addicted it's not dragged on and i'll be so happy if this never dragged yeah so with that guys i think i'm going to see you in my next video so my next video guys is going to be like cocktail dresses valentine is around the corner um i have a lot of beautiful dresses that i want i would love to share with you not necessarily red i do have red so i think i might feature some of my red dresses on this next video for you guys um so you guys can have like a cocktail dress ideas valentine dress ideas and lookbook and stuff like that so come to the end of this video do not forget to subscribe Put your notification bell on guys so that when i have new content you'll be the first to know um if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up excuse me so having seen all my codes do you think we should keep buying like i'm as guilty as any other person like already i'm planning my next holland cooper code that i want for next winter so 
um i think for me though there's a limit i think like i see what i have and i didn't really have pfar clothes before and this pfar coat the one the one from boohoo i bought for myself specifically for work that's practical for work and my really bought me the other dressier ones in case when we want to go out and the first one i had was from aliexpress and i used that for work for two years and it broke before i was looking to get something else now you see that i have a lot of wool coats like corporate coats coats and stuff like that and when i think about it should we always buy like is it necessary to always keep buying stuff um guys i don't think so i don't think it is necessary for us to keep like buying things everything like so many people even i am saying like i have so many clothes but i know there are people who have like 20 odd clothes like mine is like what 14 to 16 i haven't counted it yet but guys there are a lot of people even worse compared to me um what do you think about the trend these days is this something that you'd go for um the color trend when it comes to outer coat over coat guys is, is really not for me maybe in the future when i can brave it i could get like a purple or something but when i think about the color orange but when i think about the rest guys it gives me anxiety like the amount of colors out there if it comes to a top a dress or something like that yes i can brave that because i feel like when you're wearing a top that's orange or dress it's not as big it's not it's not so much material as when you're wearing an overcoat that is such a stunning color please comment in the section below what you thought about this video what you thought about this haul have you been buying just let me know your thoughts and connect with me as well on instagram so guys um this is it i hope you have a wonderful week stay beautiful stay gorgeous stay fabulous and guys continue to live your best life take care and inspire from eloise bye guys yeah.